Hi everyone and welcome to my desk. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I love these mini breadboards and you've probably seen me working with them for a lot of projects and I really find them handy whenever I need to prototype something on the go or if I want to uh, test some uh, IC to see how it works. And you've probably seen me using this uh, with Node MCU boards like this one here. But the problem as you can see with this Node MCU is that once the Node MCU is placed inside then it only basically leaves us with a single row that we can use for the other electronics that we need to do. And very often we end up with uh, things like this where I basically need to extend the module that I'm connecting to the neighboring board and that is quite often very messy. Even so often I do project like this. This is a bigger breadboard that usually you can make bigger project on it but again the problem comes that once you add the microcontroller on the board then it's very difficult for uh, routing multiple wires. So to try and tackle the problem I made this. This is a little PCB that I made thanks to PCBWay which is also the sponsor of this video. If you want to make yourself some quality boards then be sure to check them out. You can see that I managed to get awesome quality PCBs that I got manufactured. I use the services of PCB Way to make all of my prototypes and all of my products that I also sell on my Tindy shop. Expect to see this one soon. You'll find the link in the video description. And now let's jump to the bench and uh, I'll show you what this PCB is designed to do and how you can use it to basically extend your project uh, on multiple breadboards. And here is the PCB as I designed it. You can see that this is a very small and I would say really basic PCB. What it has is these two rows of pins that you can then solder headers to it. And the sole purpose of this PCB is to just breach over these headers that are on both sides. So the purpose of the PCB is that once you have that uh, microcontroller on a single board, then you can just plug that in in one of the boards so you can plug it just like that and then you can use a second board to now connect and have multiple connection points to build your circuit with these microcontrollers the board is designed in such a way that not only you can connect two boards between each other but you can also bridge these uh, gaps here the way that this breadboard is connected is that you have these rows common together but they are separated in here so this row does not continue there and in some cases especially with uh, electronics that you need to power uh, that they share power you gonna quickly run out of pins so you just you can chain this to as many boards as you can need and now I have a lot of pins where I can build my circuit. To build the modules I used the panels as they came from the factory and I cut uh, the headers to fit exactly to the length of the headers and then I flipped it over and using my soldering iron I made sure to solder each of the pins. If you get a single board from me uh, from the link in the video description then you can repeat the same procedure but only for a single board instead of uh, as I'm he using here the whole panel to make multiple boards but if you decide to purchase more than one then you can also repeat the same procedure as me. At the end you can just cut off all the individual boards from the panels and then you'll get your jumpers. These jumpers can also uh, be used with the larger style of breadboards like this one where you can insert this into it and that would basically jump over the two rows so basically all of these rows will now be connected to each other just by using this jumper. An interesting use case that I think will be for these jumpers is to also 
cut some of these lines here. The pins are only connected on, a, on one side. As you can see here, one side connects all the pins and everything else on the bottom is empty. So there is no electrical connection on those. Even though the holes uh, do stick out to provide better support for the pin headers and also additional strength uh, when you uh, insert them and also when you remove them from, uh, uh, from the breadboards. What you can do to modify these boards is that you can cut the connection, uh, you can cut the copper trace on the top of the board and also use a resistor, for example, uh, if something uh, needs to be connected in a specific way, then you can add resistors on this board. I haven't really found a use for that, but also you can add some LEDs, uh, I'm guessing, some indicator to maybe check the pins on the microcontroller if you want to do that. I'm also interested to know if you have any ideas what else we can use these boards except for jumping over the breadboards and making them uh, with uh, multiple lines. Uh, this will also work with the type of breadboards that you can interlock interlock with them with this with these pins. So when the boards are connected, you can use the jumper to electrically connect both of them uh, together. And now these three sections of holes are all connected together on the same, uh, same net. To design this board, I used Altium Designer and I'll leave a link down below to a trial that you can activate for Altium that will also give you a 30% discount if you decide to activate the license, uh, but it's free to try it on. So uh, be sure to check that down in the description. As I said before, I'll have links to this board where you can purchase it and also make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.